Hi folks, Charlotte here with Appomattox River Company. Today we wanted to do an explainer on the process that happens after you place an order with us. Once you order a kayak, canoe, or stand-up paddleboard, the process is pretty different than having something else, like a box of shoes, shipped to your home. So what happens once that order comes in? Uh, we will make some paperwork to ship that boat out with a less than truckload freight carrier or LTL carrier. Um, very different than using UPS or FedEx, so you will get an email with a lot of information in it. The first piece of inf information that you will need will be your tracking number. You will also get detailed instructions on what to do when the carrier actually drops that boat off at your door. Once we have made that paperwork, our warehouse crew will take the paperwork and get your boat in the queue to be wrapped. We spend a lot of time wrapping our boats. We want to give them the best chance that they have of reaching you in perfect shape. So we wrap our boats in what we can describe as a thick layer of cocooned cardboard and plastic. You will receive an email detailing what to do with those layers of cardboard and plastic, how to inspect them um, before we have actually wrapped your boat and sent it out of the warehouse. So that email does not mean that it has left us. Your tracking number will likely not work for a day or maybe a couple of days. Um, and during periods of high order volume like we've had lately, it can be up to a week or two. So we try to note in that email about how long you can expect it will take before your order will leave our warehouse. Once that tracking number starts working, it means that your boat has left and you can see where in the country it is on its way to you. If you don't, that is also fine because the freight company will have to call you once that piece of freight reaches the terminal closest to you. They will need to call you to schedule a delivery appointment for that piece of freight. So make sure that you're checking your local calls and your voicemails, uh, make sure that they can reach you. They will need to schedule an appointment, which means that you do have to be home uh, or you have to find someone that you trust to carry out that receiving process for you. Our GM, Vince, is going to talk you through what to happen, what will happen when the driver actually unloads that freight at your door. All right, when your large freight is delivered, a driver will roll up in a truck to your house or your place of business. They will open up the bag of the truck and they will deposit a giant package such as this. It is a large piece of freight, unlike a box of shoes, unlike a shirt. This is a totally different entity. Uh, freight truck drivers are often in a hurry, right? They've got multiple deliveries to make. They have large freight to deliver. So they're going to want to dump and run. They're going to try and get you to sign a clipboard, sign a handheld device, something that affects so that they can move on to their next delivery. Key component is for you to remain calm and have the information at hand so that you can handle the situation in an expeditious but thorough manner. Now, when you get your large freight, it's going to be packaged in cardboard and plastic wrap. Now, in the sort of fine print of the freight companies is the wording that if a consignee, i.e. you, the person receiving this shipment, can find a scrape, rip, or any kind of mark in the packaging, then you are allowed to open it and inspect the interior contents for any damages. Now, if you just look at this and go, it looks great, and sign for it, you're releasing kind of liability from us and the freight company to any damages that may be hidden inside here. So what we're trying to empower you to do is to easily find some sort of damage that you could point out and be prepared to open it. Now, when you inspect the freight, this is just the top freight, right? Boom, front end, front top side looks good, but you also want to get to the bottom. So you want to roll it over. Most of the time, any sort of freight damage from a forklift is going to be on the underside, naturally, because that's where the forklift's going to run and try to lift up. So you'll sometimes see little forklift tine marks on the underside. If you see any of those, that's damage. You can open it up. But double check that underside. Make sure it's clean of any marks. And when I say marks, what we want you to do is find even the tiniest thing, like a rip in the plastic or a tear in the cardboard. Something as simple as that 
is a sign of damage and gives you the opportunity to open this freight before signing for it. Key to that is having an implement like a knife or a box cutter already ready. So have that when you know your delivery is coming, they've, si they've, si they've called you and, and they've set up an appointment, you've got your implement ready so that when you say, this package is damaged, I need to open it up and inspect the freight, you're already ready, you can move into that process immediately, cutting it open to inspect the freight. It will take you some time, there's layers of cardboard here, cut gently because there is a seat with fabric and such underneath there keep that in mind but at the same time be prepared to handle that situation to inform the driver that their policy states if there is a tear rip or any mark in this packaging you're allowed to open it up and inspect the freight because what happens is if you sign for that freight and find damage later it's very hard for us to go to bat for you on a freight claim. That signing of that paperwork states that you received your uh, shipment in good condition with no exceptions. So the key component is do not sign that piece of paper until you're sure you're ready to accept this freight. There are occasions where you'll open this up and there'll be a few like scuff marks or maybe little scratches on the kayak or the canoe. And if that's acceptable to you, then accept the freight right down in the exceptions side that there was a few scrapes or, sc or scratches and accept the freight. If it's not acceptable to you, refuse the shipment. You can at that point re refuse the shipment and it'll be returned to us and everybody's free and clear and you can have your money refunded. Uh, but the key component to that whole thing is really the signing of your name as receiving something in good condition. Don't do that unless you're assured that it is in fact in good condition. In the rare instance that there is absolutely no damage that you can pinpoint on the packaging and the driver uh, is not accepting any example of damage and for you to open that piece of freight, as soon as the driver leaves, open it up. Don't receive a large piece of freight and store it in your uh, garage for a week and then open it up later. Uh, those first five days are pretty instrumental but the quicker you open that piece of freight and report back to us any concealed damage, uh, the better chance there is of us getting any sort of headway uh, on a claims process. Uh, so key component is if all else fails and you are unable to open that freight while the driver is there, make sure you open it in the immediate uh, time after the driver has left and report any concealed damage you may find on your freight uh, to us at that point with timestamp photos and detailed information so that we can start a concealed damage claim process. So now that Vince has gone over the process to actually inspect and open your canoe or kayak, the next question that most folks have is what happens if you do find damage? Typically, if you find damage, um, you will have noticed damage to the outside of the packaging and followed that process to demonstrate that to the driver and demand to open and inspect your freight. And if at that time you find unacceptable damage, a giant dent in the boat, uh, a hole in the side, something like that, that renders the kayak unacceptable to you. Uh, you the right thing to do is to refuse it, uh, to send it back with the driver and to let us know what has happened as soon as you can. Uh, we will have to wait for that boat to show back up in our warehouse. It needs to be sent back to us. We do need that evidence to present to the freight company to fight a damage claim. So we will have to wait until that boat makes its way back to our warehouse before we can file that damage claim and get you your money back. As long as you have inspected, refused, and followed that procedure, we will start that claim and get it done as expeditiously as possible to make it right with you. If you accepted a package that was absolutely damage free on the outside, it looked like it had been picked up by angels and deposited on a bed of pillows in front of your door, and you could find no reason to inspect it. If you later opened it right after the driver left and found concealed damage, let us know right away again with those time stamped pictures, and we will start what is called a concealed damage claim for you. Those do take longer to fight. They are a trickier situation, and we will, we will do our absolute best to go to bat for you on that uh, and to receive some compensation for you from the freight company. 
So the key takeaway here is inspect your freight. Uh, if you can find absolutely no reason to inspect it, open it as soon as the driver has left and tell us as soon as you can what has happened. Send us time-stamped photos, send us any evidence we'll need, and then we will get that ball rolling as soon as we possibly can to make that process right with you. We, d we spend a lot of time wrapping our boats. We have chosen our freight carriers very carefully. Every choice that we've made has been a choice that will hopefully get these boats to you in perfect condition. That doesn't happen every time. So whatever we can do to make this process go smoother for the boat and for you, we have tried to do. Um, our wrapping, our shipping, uh, all of that, we just want our boats to reach the customer in pristine condition. We want you to have a lot of good time on the water uh, with your family. Uh, we want you to get the best experience possible with these boats. Uh, so let us know what has happened. Uh, we will do everything that we can for you. Um, and if you have had a perfect experience and your boat showed up flawless, let us know that too. We love to hear that.